Hello everyone, this is a new video on the channel and I have discovered this website which have lots of maps from video games. What was more interesting to me that it had Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy X. You can move freely using these movements. So this is the first stage of the game as you all know. This is where the entry begins. Supposedly this is a fire camp where all the characters are sitting there. And then uh, Tidus or Tidus, whether <laughs> I, th I know that officially it is Tidus now, but we used to call it Tidus back in the day. So he moves to this place and wanders, uh, looking through all these Zenerkan ruins. Wow, <laughs> I mean, it's really huge. There is this skybox at the very end, so the clouds are on a different layer than the uh, sunset background. Wow. And this sword actually has a thickness, so it's not like a flat texture or something like that. I wonder how many objects were rendered in 3D modeling. I mean, I suppose that um, you cannot render everything in 3D. Maybe there are some textures here or there, but I can't see them yet. So all this field is composed of 3D models. Interesting. There is There are even detailed textures that you cannot you cannot see this from over here. If I return back, it's really hard to see what's on this. Okay, finally we can see the flat textures, even though they are way, way back in the background. So obviously this is related to Yu Yevon, I guess. Interesting mountains, again they are flat textured. No, they are not flat. There is a small amount of polygons here, it's not really flat, even though it looks flat, yet it's deceiving when you see it from here. Quite deceiving actually, especially those in the background. So let's check other maps. So this is Zenerkand, when you start playing with uh, Tedus or Tidus again. <laughs> the textures are very low in resolution, of course. So I cannot read what's written there. I've always wondered who is this girl. These lamps have reflections on the surface of this sea or river, whatever it is. I think it's a sea or ocean of some kind. I think it's an ocean. But I, I don't think this is a reflection. I think they are using the old trick. Okay, I'll tell you which trick now. So if we go inside, yes, they're, they're using it. So it's it was really hard to render reflections back in the day. So the easiest way in order to do a fraction is to uh, is to replicate the same model again on the other side of the reflecting surface. I mean, for mirrors and water, stuff like that, it's just the same lamp. Sometimes they use it with less details, but here it's already less detailed, so they use maybe the same model. And then there is this texture resembling water, it's still animated as well. Lots of details actually for a PlayStation 2 game from 2001. Yeah, it's really impressive. So anything underneath? Wow. Okay. You would never see this, but there are the remnants of the bottom side of these boats or whatever the, these houses are composed of. Three of them there. These are. This looks like fangs of some kind, like a submarine. Okay, so what about the textures back in the end. Okay, they are flat textures. Yeah, they are really flat. Even though they, they really look 3D somehow, but it's like an optical illusion. There is the space and the clouds. Wow, and the sea. So what's there? Yeah, I've, I've seen this before I mean, in the game, but I wondered what was it. Rainbow made of water? Let's check what is this. These are islands. And the water. Oh my god. I, I, I can't believe it. <laughs> the texture itself is moving, so it's still animated in some way or another. And this is far enough from the original place you're in. I mean, the cutscene is being played in this place <laughs> and 
all these details are over there. So let's check another map. Things is played in the memories of uh, Tedus or Tidus. <laughs> okay, so there is some kind of texture here. Not know what this is. It reminds me of the simple of Balap Garden in Final Fantasy VIII. But I think it's not, but I mean it, it looks it looks like it. Maybe it's some kind of a uh, low res. Amanu art? Maybe? I'm not sure. Wow, there, there are some writings on this. So the box reads something like I'm trying to understand. Steel wheels? <laughs> I can't read it. The second line says 55 or 66 maybe? So it's like a number? Interesting. 66 E E L E <laughs> O O L U O K I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But it's really interesting. So this is like the light switch or something. Even the plant is polygonal. I know it's look it looks like a Final Fantasy 7 character here, but still, I mean the original Final Fantasy of course, not the remake. These screens look like they are they were playing music. It's like the equalizer or the visualization of the sound wave lenses and stuff like that. Maybe this blue rectangle was referring to the location you are in in Zanarkand now. And there is something written here. For a second I thought it's saying Spira, but it's not Spira now. The amount of details. Oh my god. These textures also had their own reflections, I mean their own replicas under the water. Let's check another map. Lenarkand is really huge. We have still this rainbow thing at the far end. And there is another one. So we have one, two, three layers. One above the other. Different layers. Wow, what a strange design. And the waterfall is consisting of two layers. So this building has another two layers. So the, the first one is the second. It's a building inside a building. <laughs> These are the columns holding the bridge. And they are still textured as well. <laughs> I'm amazed. So the road is consisting of different layers as well. Is this some kind of waste water? Like the drainage of rain or something like that. Wow, and there are water seeds. <laughs> Maybe they're ready to be used inside the battle. So the models are there. So what there? Oh wow. It's sin. It's sin. And it's standing there while you you you're battling this boss. I, I didn't notice this before, that you can see Sin, or that Sin is observing what you're doing. It's like he's waiting for you, he's waiting for Tedus. I, and I think this is logical when, when, you, when you think of the story and the plot, and, and why Sin is concerned with Tedus somehow or another. So this is the room of Yonaleska, she was sitting on her bed here, if I remember correctly. Wow. What are these? It's a girl with wings like an angel. And who's that? Does, does he have horns or am I imagining? The resolution is so low, I'm, I'm not sure. Lighting sources. So the, the light is fading in and out like it's a candle inside. What? what? What is this? Oh! Oh wow, really? So <laughs> there is a mirror <laughs> inside the, the, the room of Yonaleska. Again, they cannot render the reflection, so they made another room with the same details. I wonder which is the real room and which is the reflection, which is the reflection here. Okay. Okay, okay. I think this is the primary room. This is the main room here. Why? Because there are uh, lighting sources here and there's more wall details on this side. But on the other side, there is nothing on the wall. 
looks like a tree. And there are flowers here. Interesting. Wow, <laughs> I didn't notice this before actually. There are these are musical instruments. This looks like an, a, a mandolin or a guitar of some kind. I think it looks like oud, which is an uh, a Middle Eastern instrument. It was used in Egypt and other countries. Wow. So you know, Leska can play this music. Is it a part of the ritual or something? This makes me wonder more about how was the life of Yinaliska before all this began and the war and stuff like that. So the fog has different layers and they are far apart from each other. Four, five, and then the skybox. Six layers of fog before the skybox. Hmm. Interesting textures. The temple itself looks like it's a texture, but you couldn't see this from way beyond. And what's this? It's a dragon of some kind? Is this a dragon? Is this a dragon? <laughs> Could it be the guardian? It doesn't have to be alive still, but it existed 1000 years ago. So this is the inside of the Zenarkand dome. And you can see the stadium with the spectator seats so the skybox here is only targeting the only windows so when you go there you can only see the skybox from this point uh, is that a cat <laughs> oh, no it's the... okay so the texture <laughs> the texture of the coat looks like a cat some some way or another this is like the cat ears here and there and it's like its face but no it's not a cat of course it's like the back of his neck or something like that there are no details for the face but there is a face there is a face <laughs> you can't see this from here i wonder who destroyed this before do you think sin has tried to destroy the temple before who else would do this who are these people? These statues? And why the blue shields? There are more people here, I mean, statues of someone. It's strange that the theme of this game is revolving around this. And actually, this specific stage, this specific location, is about death. But Still, there is life in here. There is grass, plants. Does this texture with the flowers, all these flowers, do they look like the same flowers on the dome inside the room of Inaleska? We might never know. This place reminds me of the Ocean Palace in Crown Trigger, actually. This looks way too much like Zeal's Palace. There are birds here. I mean, whatever they are, these flying creatures are detailed enough. So this is the champer face of Anima. The human hands. This is Seymour's mother. Wow. It's hidden inside the champer of the face. So maybe this is a crown? This is her crown maybe? We shouldn't be even seeing this, I mean... <laughs> so this is a salvage ship, okay. Hmm. I wonder if there is something inside here. There is something inside here! <laughs> yeah, not detailed, but there is something, wow! Now oh, this is base it. Oh, there are flying seagulls. Okay, I'm trying to catch him. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! You, you. Okay, okay, you've got the point. 
You know this intro of Chrono Cross? We, we have two intros, the FMV one and the in-game cutscene one. Talking about this, this looks like Chrono Cross a lot. Underneath land, with animated textures, so it gives the effect of a sea. Or maybe it is the reflection of this? No, it's a different texture, I guess. So there is a texture for the surface of the sea, and another texture for the bottom of the sea. Really, Square did amazing job with the PlayStation 2. What about this box inside? Wow, the tent has an inside texture. So is the box. I mean, we, we couldn't have ever seen the inside of this box, actually. Okay, not very detailed. Huh. I mean, why? Why they are doing this? They don't have to. They don't have to put all these textures, but they do. Come on, you're kidding me. Some other textures inside the box. And you can never see these. No. <laughs> so much details for a hidden thing. So this when you fight Kimari. He jumps from above there. But <laughs> why, are they, why are they doing all these textures? <laughs> you can't see this from down there. Okay, I, I'm sitting here and I'm moving and I'll never be able to see it. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm just amazed. It's also flat texture. Come on! Let's check the bridge. Maybe from down. Yeah, there are columns. And actually, the, they are more concerned with the structure system. I mean, it's not just simple columns. Okay, from here you can see the village. And I've always thought that this looks like a texture. And now I'm sure it's a flat texture. Oh! It's mirrored. So again, this looks like a texture. And I'm not surprised that it is. But it's not mirrored this time. What's that? Is that a lighthouse? Yuna's father. Didn't notice this before, but his eyes are closed. Am I imagining, or is it closed? Let's check the other statues. No, I think this one is open. No, the. the there are eyes here. I mean, even though it's a statue, but there are eyes. But there are no eyelids here. I mean, it's not obvious. There is a skybox. Maybe we can see it from down there somehow or another. They made the skybox only for just these windows, which you hardly see from down there. So this is where Yuna passed the test and became a summoner. This is a person, I mean, this is the, the one who was sacrificed in order to get this summon, maybe a thousand years ago or something. I'm not sure if he's a guy or a girl. No, no, she, uh, she's a girl. She's a girl. There are hints of a face here, but it's not detailed. And what's this? Who's that? That's her hand. I feel bad for her now. Now this is when you check Kalika for the first time. I think the cloud is in a different layer. Hmm. Yeah, it is. Different layer. And then the sky box with the sunset. And the sea has three different layers as well. Now this is Kalika's forest. I can see there is a sky box underneath. This is quite strange. Supposedly it should be up there. I wonder why they did this. Oh! Brilliant! So this acts like a reflection. Wow! <laughs> I mean, you're moving right there on the bridge and there's shallow water. 
to the right and to the left and the reflection to the skybox is just another skybox down there. Same goes for the texture of the mountain and the rest of the forest. Brilliant. Seriously, even in this temple, his eyes are closed. I'm nearly sure now. So I think this is effort. Wow, he doesn't look like a human. Or maybe there is a hidden face somewhere or another. From the back, it looks like the head of a person. He has two heads. I'm beginning to understand maybe that each face has both of the human form of the person who delivered the sacrifice or something and the head of the summon. Now this is the stadium itself where you play the game and still there are some animated crowd there. N not quite animated, I mean it's just some pixels changing their colors or being added here or there. I converted the full story of Final Fantasy X into a game movie of two hours or something with all the main elements of the story the main characters, the ending and everything. So you can check it on this channel, I'll put the link in the description. I like this place so much actually. Let's check the sun. The sun is in a different layer than the skybox. So here it is. So the end result. <laughs> Amazing, really. And this is when you're chasing sin, I think these are the buildings that are over the surface of sin. So this is a moon flow, and you can see the flowers here. Wow! Yeah, some flat textures, but some polygons as well. So this is the mansion's entrance. We can see the full lineage. Of the kings of Guadusalam. Hmm. So Seamer is there. Okay, this is the bottom of uh, Lake Macalania. So other YouTubers talked about this, I guess. According to the plot, we're, we're supposed to be on the surface of Sin. And these buildings are part of the ruins on its surface. Now, this is interesting. This is a Tower of Light where the wedding was going to happen. Okay, so they are, the guards are all ready. Hmm, interesting. There are things to go to that you cannot even see in the cutscenes. I don't think it, you can even see it in the FMVs, but anyway. Lots of textures as well. Oh yes, so this is where Yuna will come from this tiny window and will jump. And um, people saw that the, she is committing suicide, it's a very interesting scene if you if you know, then you know. <laughs> and then she jumps from this window. But wh wh what? What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> if she jumped, she wouldn't have died actually. There, there is a mistake in this scene, I mean she pricked us. In order for Valley 4 to catch her, she has to jump all this distance, not just throw herself. Th there wasn't even a danger for her. <laughs> Come on, Yuna. <laughs> you tricked us all. In order for Valley 4 to catch her, she should jump from this point, actually. Not this. If she jumps from here, then she will fall here. It's nothing dangerous. Or even here, or here, or here. In order to commit suicide, she, she needs to jump from this place. Okay, you now you deceived us all. So I think this is Bahamut. So this is the body of a man, but his head is different. His hands are transforming and there are clothes attached to his fingers. Okay, and these are the Naga sisters, but what's more interesting are these spheres 
They look like the material of Final Fantasy VII. I mean, with, with the same colors, actually. Yeah, this is green, blue, purple, red. I think I'm not far away when I say these are materials. Given the fact that, officially, Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy VII are connected and are in the same universe. This makes me dizzy. <laughs> So yeah, it's textures. Well, I'm, I feel dizzy now. So I, uh, I wanted to check this myself, and I saw that maybe, maybe you can take a video of it. Because I believe that many other players want to check this. Many other people who even heard about Final Fantasy X and wanted to know what's the big deal about this could enjoy the beauty and the charm of uh, the design of these stages. So again, if you want more content of Final Fantasy X, maybe you can check the movie that I've made. It's a continuous mix between gameplay and cutscenes, there is no HUD at all. It is within the, the regular movie lens, even if it's a bit long, but it's not like the regular 10 hours plus movies that you can see all around the internet. If you like this video, please share it with other people who might be interested. I know that there are many others who are interested in this. Please subscribe, like, and waiting for your comments if you have any questions. See you.